What's up guys, we are out at the field today with Coach Andy Tate. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. We're gonna be joined shortly by the North Carolina FC Youth 05 Elite Girls. They're gonna help us walk through one of the special moments from the World Cup this year. Andy, what are we gonna take a look at today? So today, Cole, we're gonna take a look at uh, Luka Modric's fantastic strike against Argentina. He sort of, uh, sort of stole the show from uh, Lionel Messi in that game. Uh, it's one nil at the time, he picks up the ball. Uh, Croatia are breaking, uh, about 25, 30 yards out, sort of just working right and left with the ball and he shifts it back onto his favorite right foot. And he looks like he's gonna play a pass sort of to the right flank and instead he whips his foot around the ball and, and bends it in the bottom corner with, with a lot of pace and a lot of power and, and leaves the goalkeeper with no chance. And fantastic strike. Definitely, I know it's one that I'm gonna remember for quite some time, but I've really been looking forward to remaking this one. So let's go have some fun. I really wanna to get to it, so let's do it. Let's do it, sounds good. We're striking a little low right now, and that's why the ball's going high. So strike a little higher on the ball, okay? You want to be sort of striking through there, right? Making contact just below middle, maybe, and then making sure your body weight stays over the top of it, okay? But I love the, love the skill to lose the defender. Shot's been good, it's getting there. I think this could be the next one. So what I would say here as well, Anna, to really help you get that whip, a lot of it comes not just from the way you strike the ball, but your hip rotation as well. Okay, so as I'm here and I fake the defender there, shift, my hips are almost facing the sideline here, okay? And I'm gonna turn them as I bend my foot through the ball. So as I come here, I'm gonna turn my hips as I strike the ball. So that's gonna help you really get your foot around it and generate that spin. Does that make sense? So almost get your hips there, and as you're bending it, I'm striking and landing on my hips. I land on my, with my hips facing the goal. <laughs> there you go, one more, one more, last one. What I'm looking for from you here is Luka Modric, really trying to recreate the, the unbalancing movements that he does just to create the half a yard of space. So there's gonna be a little fake to the right here. Okay, big push and fake to the left. Now you're looking to set that defender up, get it back onto your favorite right foot, Luka. And then we're looking to get it out of your feet Toe down, heel up, strike through the right ear of the ball. We talk about the balls having a face. So if you look at this panel here, right ear, hips almost facing the sideline. And Luka Modric, what he did really well was he struck right on the right ear of the ball and he turned his hips as he was striking it and landed on his kicking foot. Right? And that generates the, ba the bend, the pace, the whip, and leaves the goalkeeper with no chance, even though he's, he's dove at full stretch and given everything. So you can almost go for a top left stanch. Yes! There we go. Great I mean, strike. <laughs> it really is just a testament to how much Modric will practice something like that. Yeah. Because it's, that's not something you see a midfielder hit every day. Right. And that's the thing I mean to do it that part in the game as well as a, as a defender myself. I'm, I'm stood back there watching this little magician go to work and going, thank you, Luca. You know what I mean? He's oh, just, yeah. He's not only has he held on to the ball and kept it, but then he's, he's managed to create a half a yard of space for him in a very congested area of the field. And, and hit the ball so true and so, so much, with so much quality that the goalkeeper's got no chance. And that's what magical World Cup moments are all about. Okay, and that's, what, that's at least a goal I'll remember for at least the coming World yeah. Cups is one of the stoners of this one. But if there's probably, let's say, two to three things that you would recommend somebody yep. take home, really work on for yep. something like this, what would you say those three are? Great, well, obviously I think the, 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 the thing we saw with, with you playing with the shot was I think that you, your touch was so important. I mean, getting comfortable on the ball and then unbalancing the defender. And then when you see the space, being able to shift that ball into the space and take advantage. So I think that, that individual skill on the ball is important. That would be my first thing. And then obviously the technique of the shot is the next important thing. And obviously the, the bend and whip that he generates on the ball as a result of striking on the outside of the ball, like sort of like through that, that ear, that right ear of the ball, and then turning his hips and land on his kicking foot to get extra power. Those would be the, the key sort of technical points I would, I would hit on as a, as a player myself. Perfect, then I will go home and keep working on this, or I might just stay out here, you never know. Ah, oh, long day at work though. Definitely, thank you very much no for problem, showing Bye, me and walking me stuff. through the ropes. No. Uh, girls, I think we're hitting them better than I was by the end of it all. <laughs>
It's all practice does for you, right? Oh yeah, just practice, practice, practice. Anyway, I think that's everything we have for you guys today. Until next time, we'll see you later. Yeah.